All right, so I started uh, cleaning some paint off of a, a practice sneaker, practice Jeezy, as you can see. And I was like, why not pick up my camera and uh, record it so y'all can see me actually turn it into something. What I was practicing on this, the first thing that was on this sneaker, see it's like a bullshit cause thing that I was going for, but at first it had roses on it here, cause now I'm uh, in the process of taking it off because I haven't great idea so yeah I guess uh let's get into it what's up everybody welcome back to uh another video and as you could see in the the opening credits Doing some uh some anime action. I already finished uh one of the sneakers I'll be doing the anime action on. Here's uh one. And yes, I'm working on a pair of Yeezys. So uh what I'll be doing on the other side is a, a Sasuke theme to this one. A little different, not really, because it's not like I never did an anime custom before, but I never took a Yeezy series just because, just because, no reason to get into it. But, uh, yeah, I guess without any further ado, let's get into this one. All right, so what I'm going to be doing, I'll explain to you guys, uh, I'm doing this, like this custom a little different than what I previously do. Uh, like what I did, as you saw in the opening scenes is I printed out some pictures of what I'm going to be adding to the sneaker and I'm going to cut the picture out and pretty much trace the outline on the sneaker uh I saw Serato do this and I was like hey why not just give it a try see how it comes out and it's a lot easier than just freehanding everything it makes things a lot crisper neater the only thing I did was the uh the flames on the back I just freehanded that uh the reason that it has like the dark silver outlining i know atachi has black flames but it's a black sneaker so it's not going to show up so as you can see like that's why it's like that so i was going to do atachi on both sides and i was looking at it and i'm just like no nah, just why not just do a uh, sasuke on the other one a little uh brothers theme custom so uh, I'm gonna run this one just like I did my last uh, video, the the Warhol Kyrie custom video. If you haven't seen that, watch this video first, and go back and watch that. And while you're at it, drop a like and comment on the bottom. And while you're here, you might as well subscribe too. So uh, what I did with that video is just let the camera run so you guys can see every little thing that I do, and uh, just so you guys get the idea of how everything's gonna get placed. The Demon Wind Shuriken, which is, you won't be able to even see it on the paper because it's so small. That's going to be going across the toe box. Then how I'm going to separate the toe box from the rest of the sneaker, I'm going to do Sasuke's sword going across that. Then, with the other paper here, what's going on the outside of here is this picture of Sasuke. Simple as that. Now the inside of the sneaker, oh... Just like how I did uh, Itachi's Mangekyu Sharingan on the inside of these ones. What I'll be doing on the inside of this one is uh, Sasuke's Mangekyu Sharingan and the Rinnegan in his other eye. Because uh, I think that would be a, like pop instead of doing both Mangekyu Sharinguns. So I was going to be doing with that. Then on the back of this one, like I did the Black Flames on the back of the Itachi one. What I'm going to be doing on the back of this one is uh, Lightning. That's what I think about when I think of uh, Sasuke. Alright, and if I could find some pictures of what these uh, Yeezys look like before I like fix them up, like I'm going to post them too. Cause, you know, I know you guys are, oh, like, those are fake because it doesn't have the supply on the side. Nah, like, it's blacked out. But this sneaker has been through a lot. Like, I turn these into slides. 
I had a rose painted on the front of these. Then I had a, the cause painted on the front of these. After I, I took the rose off, repainted it with the cause thing. And like I said, I had them slide. So that means this whole back panel was just flat because I was just sliding my foot in. Uh, and I'm like, instead of them just sitting there, let me just do something, a uh, fun little art project. So uh, yeah, these are 100% real. And uh, I'm gonna start it up. Alright, so the outline of the sneaker, I mean the outline of the uh, Demon Wind Shuriken, like I said, is going to be going across the toe box. So, uh, probably going one, two, I think I'm going to just do three going across the front, I think three is fine. So, uh, I'm going to get my silver paint and start on these. Alright, so, uh, of course, like, don't crucify me, it's just the first, I didn't touch it up or anything yet, but that's what I'm pretty much going to be doing. I'm going to trace three different ones going across the front, then I'll uh, move on to the next step, which is going to be the, uh, the sword going across the toe box. And what I'm going to do is just do the outlines pretty much of every single, every single item that I want on the sneaker. Then I'm gonna go back in and do the touch ups and everything. So just bear with me. All right, so boom. Uh, the Demon Wind Shuriken. Shuriken's is placed on the front. So I'm gonna save this for later just so I can use it as a reference point. So like I said, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is doing uh, a blade going across the front. Uh, what, what I'm gonna be doing just to try to make it as even as possible is pretty much measure out where I put Itachi's headband at in correlation to where I wanna put the sword at. So what I'm gonna use is some tape. So I didn't realize that the camera stopped recording for whatever reason camera stopped recording for. But uh I pretty much finished the outline of uh Sasuke walking away. Hopefully you get like you get the gist of it. So I have the uh Demon Wind Shurikens on the front. That, that those two lines are gonna become his sword in the middle. Picture of Sasuke right there, and the outline of his eyes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say the last thing. For uh, the back, I mean, for lightning. Really don't gotta stencil anything out for that. <clears throat> That's what I'm just gonna do last. So now what I'm gonna do is start uh, actually working on stuff. I think I'm gonna just do the sword going across first since that's like the easiest thing. I'm just gonna paint it silver. Then the back end, yeah, the back end, I'm just gonna go with a darker silver, make that nice and easy. Then I'm probably gonna have to go with the Demon Wind Shurikens just so I can finish that all up. And I'm just gonna work my way to, uh, gonna do the eyes. Then uh, I'm gonna do that. Right now, I am gonna make a cut. I said I wasn't gonna make a lot of cuts in the video. I just wanted to let my camera run, but I'm starving right now. So, uh, sorry, but be right back. A few moments later. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing now is using my silver again with the GAC 900, just so the fabric of the sneaker doesn't get all hard and crusty. Alright, 
So again, just like the last video, this is the part I'm at right now. My camera's battery is about to die, so uh, I'm gonna charge that up. And who knows where I'll be when uh, it's fully charged again. Sorry about that again. And uh, I guess hopefully be right back. Just like that, these things are done. Painting on a fabric like this is a pain in the butt, but we got it done and I'm gonna uh, show you the whole sneaker and explain everything to you. So first, this uh, two-tone like strip going across the front is uh, Sasuke's sword. The back part that's darker, of course, that's the back of his sword, so that's why that's darker than the front part, like a darker gray. These down here uh, represent his uh, Demon Wind Shuriken. Uh, it's the same little light dark effect that I put if it focuses on those. Inside, I have his Sharing Gun and the Rene Gun. Hopefully, it focuses so you guys can see. In the back, I was gonna do lightning since I have fire on a uh, Tachi side. I was gonna do lightning, but I wasn't liking the way the lightning was coming out. So I just did the uh, three little uh, curse mark seals. Of course, I know in the show it's black, but it's a black sneaker, so I couldn't do it. So I just did white little curse mark seals on the back like that. And on the outside, just like I did on the outside of that one, is a uh, like silhouette of, if it focuses, of Sasuke. Let me play with a little lighting a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. So, I'm actually looking forward to wearing these. Like, really looking forward to wearing these. So, side by side and all that stuff. Let me bring the lights back up. Boom. Back. I'm definitely looking forward to I ain't wear these mad long. And uh I'm gonna try to find some pictures of how these looked so you guys can see the whole uh, process. I think I'm gonna get some custom insoles too. I'm gonna have to look up to see where I can get some custom insoles. But yeah, that's uh pretty much it. What do you guys think? How do you think these came out? I like them. Uh, I feel like if it wasn't a canvas sneaker, could have did a lot better. But hey, still wearable. I like how they came out. And like I said, I can't wait to wear them because they were just collecting dust. I wasn't wearing them anyway. Got to retire my other uh, airport shoes. So these are probably going to be my airport shoes. So yeah, just like that. Leave a comment in the description what side do you think is better what do you think i should have did different or uh what's your favorite naruto character all right get let's let's open a dialogue between that but yeah uh you guys will be able to see more pictures on my instagram follow me over there on instagram at fab as all one word f-a-b-c-a-s-s-o -S -S and uh yeah until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.
Like